Hello, what's up YouTube? Ron is with another tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can easily color grade in camera or in Photoshop or even Lightroom for those that have Lightroom. So this is going to be more of a color grading tutorial whereby we are just going to try to replicate this very image and have the same color grading that I had when I was using Capture and so I realize so many people don't have Capture and we just want to try and get a closer look or colors that look like the ones I had to achieve in Capture One but this time around we are going to be using the Camaro filter to do the color grading on this very image so without further ado let's just get started and before you can proceed make sure to hit the like button I realize you tend to forget to hit the like button on most of my videos so let me just give you a moment to hit the like button on this video because you're going to be learning so much about color grading in the Camaro filter so when you're done doing that, let me hope you're done liking this video. So right now we're in the camera raw interface and it is a ca camera raw file for a Canon. Or I took using a Canon 6D camera and I shot it at ISO 100 using my 70-200mm lens and I zoomed in up to 121mm and I shot it at f4 because I wanted, I wanted to capture so much detail in the face area. Then I shot it at a shutter speed of 1 out of 500 of a second. So basically that is the information. And I shot it using one light setup. It was my Okta. The softbox was my Okta. And I also used a Godox AD600BM to shoot this image. And I had a reflector right down here to bounce back some of the light and get rid of the shadows under her chin. And some of the shadows below her hands right here so basically that is enough of information about this photo and i shot it at around 3 pm so before we can do any color grading on any image the way i think is to have the exposure and the other primary adjustments quite right so for this case or for my case i usually take my highlights down to get rid of this whitish background and also do the same for my whites but i'm not going to take them all the way down so i'm just going to leave it right there then in order to add contrast into the image i tend to push my blacks down just like that and this adds contrast into the image but as you're taking the blacks down it makes you lose information in the shadows or in the blacks of the image so in order to encounter that or overcome it just come to the blacks and simply open up your shadows rather so just come and open up the shadows just like that and now I'm just going to come to the contrast and just add because I prefer my images to be a little bit contrasty so a contrast of 10 is going to be fine but right now the image looks a little bit underexposed so just want to encounter that and it was the brightness of my monitor or my screen so it is a little bit underexposed and you just want to encounter that or overcome it just come in open up the exposure slightly and this looks quite well and looks better but usually when I'm shooting or for those people that have noticed most of Canon cameras tend to have that too much magenta added into the images so in order to get rid of it come to where it says white balance and under that you have the option that says tint so in order to get rid of other magentas within the skin tone the opposite of magenta is green so come and look for green and move the slider towards the green side up to a point when you feel like uh, you have gotten the best out of the skin tone and have gotten rid of those magentas from the skin tone so anything is going to be color grading and before you can proceed you can add a little bit of clarity into the image. I prefer a clarity of 5 and that is enough for that portion for the basic adjustments. So I'm just going to come to the color mixer option in Lightroom. And in order to get this, you can see we have hue, saturation and luminance. We're just going to be playing around with these colors to see what works best for us when it comes to the skin tones. So for this case, I'm just going to start from where it says hue and under hues, I'm going to 
first of all come to my reds and i'm going to show my reds towards the oranges just like that and you can see that this further on gets rid of the magentas within the skin tones and i'm going to do the same for my oranges i'm just going to take this up slightly a little to around seven so i'm showing the reds towards the oranges and also hewing the oranges towards uh, the yellow side so when i'm done doing all that i'm going to come to where it says luminous so luminous is more of the brightness or darkness of a specific color so for this case i just want to darken the oranges and in order to darken the oranges when you take the orange slider all the way towards the left hand side you'll be darkening the oranges or you'll be darkening a specific color and when you take it all the way up, you'll be lightening a specific color. So for this case, I'm just going to double click to reset. I just want to darken the oranges, meaning I have to take this all the way towards my left hand side. I think negative 20, negative 25 looks good and it is fine. So right now, let's see the before and after so far before, after, before, after. So right now the skin tone looks a little bit uniform. So what I want to do, I want to first of all come back to the hues and I play around with the green color. You know, I tend not to love this natural green color. So I tend to tweak it sometimes, almost all times when I'm trying to do a color grading. I'm going to come to the greens and let me see if at all I take it towards the blue side. I think I'm just going to take it the extreme up to 100 and I'm going to do the same for my yellows. I'm just going to take it all the way towards 100 too so that I can have this kind of bluish or a green that looks a little bit towards the blue side. But uh, this doesn't look nice. So I'm not yet done color grading the skin tone, don't mind. I just want to show you guys how this is going to, how it is going to embed or make the image a little bit uniform and blend into the surrounding. I'm just going to come to the saturation and now desaturate my greens just like that. And I'm going to desaturate also my yellows. And this makes the image really pop and really stand out even more. And now the attention is going to be onto a skin tone even more. So right now we can see a skin tone quite well and a little bit better. So we can come back and work on the individual color of the skin tone. It's just going to come back to where it says hues. And we are going to play around with the hue of the oranges. And we see what it has to offer. So I'm just going to take the oranges towards uh, the reds this time around. Remember I had, take, I had taken it towards the yellows so i'm just going to take it back a little bit towards uh, my reds and this time around take the reds towards my oranges you can see what this is doing to the image so i'm just going to take it a little bit higher to around 51 and now the skin tone is now getting to look a little bit uniform so i'm just going to come back to a saturation and now i'm going to desaturate or remove the reds from the skin tone to around negative 8 and also desaturate the oranges a little bit to around negative 3. So let's see what we have so far. This is the image before and this is what we have after before. After, I hope you can see the difference within the color grading. So I'm going to come down to where it says split toning and under split toning you know I tend to love a little bit of greens in the highlights of the image so under split toning you can see before you can do any adjustment just come to where it says you can see we have highlights and shadows but usually i prefer to work with my highlights i'm just going to come the saturation of the highlight area and just take it up don't mind the color so after taking it up i'm going to come the hue option and just add a color towards uh the image so i'm just going to look for i prefer a little bit of a green color within my highlights just like that 
but as you can see this looks a little bit awkward and it looks off i'm just going to come back to the saturation and now take it back a little just like that i think 12 looks good so i i I could come and play around with this a little bit more. 38 looks fine. Let's see a before and after. And let's see a before and after split turning. This is the before split turning and this is the after split turning. Before and after split turning. You can see the difference it has made to this image. So depending on the look you're trying to go in for, this looks fine to me. But you can come and play around with the Q values to get it looking better. You can take it towards uh, the red side because I felt like it was a little bit warm. And you could take the reds more towards the orange side. So this is the before for the color grading and this is the after so far. Before, after. I hope you can see that you have managed to get the same look that we had in the Capture One software or when we are doing the color grading in capture one so anything you want to do is you can come and do a little bit of eye whitening so that you don't come back into the camera filter to do this process later on you can come and get the adjustment brush tool and now you have to set it in the best way possible remember we have some yellows and greens in the white area of the eye so the opposite of Yellow, if at all we want to eliminate yellows from the white area of the eye, is blue. So move the slider towards the blue side. Negative 20 is fine. And since we have greens in the white area of the eye, the opposite of green is magenta. So just move it towards uh, the magenta side. 60 is enough. And now you're just going to brighten up the whites by taking the highlights above to around 5. And doing the same for the whites to around 5. So after doing that, we want to remove the rest of the random colors in the white areas of the eyes that we want to whiten. Come to the saturation and simply desaturate. I think negative 66 is fine. And now simply left click and start painting in that white area to whiten it just like that. And this is going to produce for you more natural and better results regarding your eye and teeth whitening in the camera filter so just paint only in areas that should be white in your photos and when you're done doing that you can proceed into photoshop to do the skin retouching on your images and for those interested check out i have beginner level skin retouching tutorials and also for those that know more or that already know about skin retouching, I have all those tutorials on this channel. So that is it for today's story. And if at all you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if at all you haven't subscribed already to this channel. Because if at all you don't subscribe, you miss out on more educative content on this channel. I am Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.